Iran's new ambassador to the United Nations is a former member of the militant group that held 52 Americans hostage in Tehran for a total of 444 days. The Iranian government has applied for a U.S. visa for Hamid Abu Talibi, who was a member of a group of radical students that seized the U.S. Embassy on the 4th of November 1979. The State Department has not responded to the visa application, but they are required to grant entry visas to representatives of the U.N. member states in compliance with an agreement signed in 1947. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani, who some have hailed as a reformist, whose election has brought on the dawn of a new moderate era for Iran, chose Abu Talibi to serve at the UN in New York. Despite hopes for dramatic reform in Iran, it seems that in reality, little has changed. Recently, Amnesty International released its annual report on the use of the death penalty around the world. The total number of executions in 2013 has increased mainly due to Iran, where at least 778 executions were documented in 2013, up from 682 in 2012. While relations between the Islamic Republic and the U.S. and its allies are starting to surface, many of the international community have stated that Iran, Rouhani especially, cannot be trusted. In response to Rouhani's charm offensive, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu referred to him as a wolf in sheep's clothing and a servant of Iran's fanatic regime.